Making an invention is hard. This is supposed to be an electric car. Maybe I should have taken a class with educator Lisa Mo. Scientists and engineers work to make the world better every day. But how can we inspire the next generation of STEM innovators? To find out, we're in Chino, California to meet with superstar teacher Lisa Mo. I was inspired to become a teacher because I had amazing teachers and I want to be the type of teacher to inspire my students that they could set their mind to do anything they want to do and believe in, yes, I can. Today, Lisa's going to show us how she gets students excited about STEM, even when the classroom is the family dining room. Some of the labels that my students carry with them are often things that they were told by other teachers, like you're not math brain, science brain, you're not a strong reader, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's my mission to allow them to take that label away and be exactly who they are when they want to be and trust in themselves. A giraffe and a dog, I love the creativity. Through STEM learning, I can nurture their confidence, their strength, and their natural leadership to be the future of science. I'm so excited to work on coding with you today. Teachers are natural innovators, and last year was no different with the pandemic. We had to completely transition to online learning and distance teaching. I made it my mission to teach my students that they can still have confidence, self-esteem, and still be the amazing learners they are, even through a computer. A key resource for Lisa's remote instruction is the Pathfinders Online Institute from our sponsor, Infosys Foundation USA, an online community that helps teachers network, create lesson plans and projects, and share instructional videos on subjects like coding. The Institute has allowed me to not only be able to grow in my own confidence with STEM learning and coding, but be able to bring it back to my students and really give them that opportunity to grow their confidence and self-esteem to be science learners and educators and innovators. Lisa doesn't just teach fourth grade remotely. She also tutors students in STEM. And today's assignment is to make an innovation project. There are only a few guidelines. Step one, have a yes I can mindset and be kind. Step two, how can we help others? We wanna do stuff that, yeah, it's a cool thing for us, but how are we gonna help others and make a bigger impact? Step three, we're gonna code using this little microcomputer to create something new and original. Step four, have fun and change the world. Lisa shows them the basics of the microbit pocket computer and its software, writing code to display this heart. At the next session, the students pitch Lisa their ideas. I'm making something for kids with anxiety, so I'm thinking of making like a little bunny. I was thinking of making like a robot that kind of helps you sleep better. My idea is like a kid's servant or a kid's friend. Guys, awesome job. As they start on their projects, Lisa guides them as they build and code. I like the way that you're thinking on the spot and overcoming an obstacle there, I like that. Eventually, the students are ready to present their inventions in person in Lisa's backyard. I made a project for kids with anxiety. After it says just smile, it'll play a song and it has a smiley face. Wow, that definitely brought a smile to my face. What do we have here, Chris? I made a robot that helps you sleep better. It's a dog and it has homing music. It has some lights on the back and it plays songs. Oh, and it ends with a smile. That definitely would comfort me. I made a robotic car controlled by a remote control just for people who are bored or like want some fun. The microcomputer helps it move. You guys, I am just so proud of you, truly, for taking on this challenge and look at your creations. By teaching my students today how to use STEM in their everyday life, they're gonna take that forward into adulthood to make a difference. In the future, if I wanna be like a coder or work for a tech company, I can do that. What I like about these STEM classes is they're really fun, creative, and you get to learn more than usual. She's really inspirational, and I like making my thoughts come alive. Always remember, yes you can, be kind, and let's go change the world. Yay! I'm excited! Awesome!